This is a continuation of my last video, as I'm still warm and toasty sitting in front of my firebox, and I'm still dreaming of sitting in front of the campfire, slurping Guinness and Brew Dog at the wee out the way bay when I camp. It's the last week of February, and like the month of January, I have only managed up the loch twice this month, due to inclement weather. However, although it's been much colder again, bringing snow back to the hills, the days are slowly growing longer, and I feel my feet starting to itch for some wild camping. At first, there's something I had to do in the wee out the way bay, and that's what this video is about. I didn't access the shore by car. It's still very difficult due to the deep banks of seaweed, so I tend to stay in the car park and carry the boat to the water's edge. At high tide, it's only a few metres anyway. Once the boat is assembled, I let the drone have its exercise before hauling the boat into the loch. Although much colder than my trip up the loch the previous week, the water was just as calm. I was delighted to hear a few birds chirping a sweet dawn chorus, a sure sign that spring is not so far away. I even saw a few small flies coming out with slowly rotting seaweed when I disturbed it carrying the boat bits to the water's edge. The drone sure loves the freedom of the open sky and remote landscapes. It's hard to believe I have owned it for nine months now, and I'm much more confident it won't run off and leave. I still recall the first day I took it out. I drowned it in the loch on its third flight. Then I almost took the top off my little finger trying to catch its replacement. I'm glad those first teething flights are behind me now. But I try not to get too confident as I'm fully aware that what goes up must come back down. And hopefully under control. Its aerial views show just how wet it's been lately. The river Nant has flooded the low ground around its estuary. A ray of sun broke through a small hole in the clouds, illuminating the land below, but it was still quite grey looking in the promised land. I could just make out the snow lying in the hills just below cloud level, as the drone lined itself up on its landing approach to my car and trailer at Kelly's Pier. And not long later it was safely back in my hand as we launched the boat. Then we were on our merry way up the loch. From afar, the distant snow-topped mountains look magnificent, with the ice and glistening in the sun. As I pass familiar sights, I recall memories of the first time I camped at the out the way bay. Around 15 years ago, I had a lovely little loch boat with a cuddy. I often towed it to Tinalt where I launched and explored the loch, and camped overnight to make the journey worthwhile. Biting insects and midges made my life miserable, so I started to sleep in the boat. A plastic tarp stretched over a pole kept the rain out. Although quite cramped, it was no more so than the small tent they had back then. I anchored off the wee out the way bay as the loch is quite shallow there. Then for extra security, I tied a rope from the stern to the last post of the deer fence. I also felt a lot safer sleeping in the boat, as back in the day a small herd of highland coos freely roamed the area, and their favourite pastime was standing in tents in the middle of the night, or so my imagination told me. And that is the very reason I was heading there this day. I had not seen Highland Coos around the loch for several years. Until this winter, I noticed another small herd of them wandering around the area, and as I'm hoping to camp up there soon, I had to sort them out.
The weather didn't quite know what to do. The sun trying to break through the low cloud which wasn't given up without a fight. The water surface was mirror smooth as I slowed to look back and admire the light and clouds on Ben Kruiken. I made my way to the shore at Dal, where I had last spotted the Highland Coos on the previous visit. I landed and then set the drone loose, because I was looking for coos which could be hidden anywhere. I decided the best way to find them was from the air. It's not easy to hide in the promised land if you're a big hairy highland coo. As such, I spotted them a mile off. They moved slowly so I let the drone see if it could spot anything else of interest while it was in the air. The only other thing of interest I saw was the lovely scenery. So when the drone came back because its battery was almost flat, I jumped in the boat and headed off to see the coos. In truth, they are very docile creatures. I just wanted to make sure before meeting them when sleeping in a small tent. I also wanted to check the line of fences. There are still posts in places, but the fence wires have long rusted through. The beasts are free to fall over nose. I then nipped round the corner to the wee out the way bay, as I had work to do. I wanted to protect the small area for a pitch a tent, so planted four fence posts. I erected some castaway fence wire round two sides, leaving the other two sides open. I didn't want to trap a deer or a coo if it jumped over the fence. My idea is I'll rope off the other two open sides when I'm in residence. Hard work, so I enjoyed my lunch and slurp of coffee, while admiring the views. I was just sorry I didn't bring the tent, because I could have quite easily stayed overnight. And my final task was clearing all the dead bracken away from the area. Now the work's done, I hope to be in residence the next opportunity I get. Happy my day's task was done, I continued on my way to the end of the loch, hoping to see the sea eagles, but there was no sign of them this time around.
I stopped filming as the camera batteries went flat. I arrived back in Tainalt at low tide, so managed my car through the seaweed where another cart and trailer had cleared away while I was away. The shingle was still a little soft, so I turtle walked the boat to hard standing. Two days later, I managed another day out in the boat. This time I headed for another location, a sea loch I had not visited for around five years. It will be the topic for my next video, so do return to see where I went. It was a truly remarkable day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.